Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in to what is going to be a tutorial where I create this entire face using nothing but, I mean literally nothing but the Smashbox gel cushion thing, applicator, tool. It is what it is, but in the comments section of the review that I did of this guy, one of you asked if I could actually demonstrate it. In that video, I applied my foundation using it because this is recommended for, you know, creams and liquids like primer or foundation, but really, like I mentioned in that review, you could use it for any sort of cream or liquid like your contour highlight blush, things like that. And so one of you guys in the comments actually said you'd like to see a video on that. And so I thought I'd take it one step further and just do my whole face, right? Because you have cream products for the eyes, you have lips, you, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let's just see if we can do a full face with this guy. And so this is the result. If you want to see how everything went down, if I need to do any touch-ups, things, you know, with other tools, things like that, definitely keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start with primer. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I recently did, along with everybody else here on YouTube, um, a review of pretty much every, I think, everything in the collection. So if you want to go see that, hear my thoughts on this and how it, it was a wear test, so see how everything wore throughout the day, definitely go check that out. Click the eye up here or in the description box below. So I have it applied to the uh, sponge gel thing. What are we going to call this? And I, I pretty much know how this is going to go, right? I've, I've already done my foundation with this. I can tell how a primer is going to function. So I put three pumps on, which is the amount I would normally apply if I were doing this with my hands um, or the brush, but I rarely apply primer with a brush. And I have to say it's it's a little much because this isn't absorbing anything. Um, it's, it's taking a little bit longer for this to sink into my skin. And I think um, I just might have generally applied a little too much, so I really hope that doesn't affect the, um, the wear of my foundation. Moving on to foundation, using the Fenty Beauty, mine is the shade 210 for reference, and I am going to go in with, this is less than a pump, just to start off with here on the sponge. What are we going to call this? Gel? Gumdrop. That's kind of what it reminds me of, is a gumdrop, actually. Okay, so I'm going to go in and work this onto one side of my face. I said this in the review, but this is a foundation that dries relatively quickly, so I tend to like to work in smaller areas. Uh, but, <laughs> I say that, but because this uh, little gumdrop doesn't absorb any of the product, uh, a little bit, just less than a pump, is going a long way. I mean, this is half my face, and it's pretty full coverage. In looking at this now, I, this is like borderline too much. It's almost sitting in my baby hairs up here, you know, it's almost sitting the wrong way there. And that's the one thing about this. I think this is a good tool if you don't mind layering things up slowly because you really just need the tiniest bit in order to get a really flawless application just because it doesn't soak up any of that product. Now I'm moving on to the other side of my face. Moving on to concealer, I am actually going to try a new concealer. I'm deviating from my Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof All Day Extreme Wear Concealer. Uh, I got this from Octoly, and the shade I got is 1C Light, which is a cool undertone. I have swatched this, and I think it might be a hair uh, or three too light for me. Like, it's just a little, but we'll, we'll try it and see how it goes. I mean, obviously, I was intrigued because it's waterproof, it's double wear, Estee Lauder is notorious for their double wear line and how bulletproof it is once it is on your skin. So I was really excited to try this out. And I'm not going to clean my sponge at this point because I've really, you can see here, only use this bottom half for foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and use this top part here for the concealer. Ooh, that's way too much. That's going to be so, so much. Well, here we go. That is so light. <laughs> Whoops. That is sometimes the thing about ordering from Octoly is they don't necessarily always have your shade. And it's hard to tell which shade is right for you. Ooh, 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 but I have to say, I'm not unhappy with that coverage, but it is just so light. Well, maybe I'll bring it down. And here I go using a concealer that is too light around my nose area, a beauty don't, that if you haven't seen the video, I will still always pretty much do. Does that look ridiculous? It feels okay. It feels a little light, but it feels okay. It dries down to a really nice matte finish. I don't know if you can tell there, but it's it's like satiny. It doesn't feel too tight. You know, with something like a cream called that says it's waterproof, I almost would have expected it to dry down uh, maybe almost a little too dry, especially for your under eye area where you have fine lines that dryness can emphasize. But this is like a powdery finish and it's full coverage. I mean, look at how it covered up that discoloration without any color correction. I'm pretty impressed with that. And again, just like look at how little 
product is staying. Some of it's getting caught in the texture in there, but like no product is on this. Okay, next. This is not meant to be used with powder. I want to say that right here and now, but um, I think you I might as well try. Like, just see what happens, right? I mean, they don't say not to use it with powder. So I'm just going to take, this is the MAC Studio Fix. It's actually a powder foundation, but I like using this in just powder foundations in general to set in case I want a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna do that for um, my chin and forehead just to see what happens. And my shade is NC25. Wow, that's not so bad. It actually does come off. And when you pat it in, uh, you really can't, see texture or anything like that. Like if the texture of this doesn't transfer, um, it's not streaky or anything like that. Oh, I'm getting some tech, not texture, but it is displacing uh, the powder or the cream foundation that I'm wearing on my nose area. Do one more go on the forehead before we call it quits. That's not so bad. See, okay, I'm conflicted. Maybe it's just my nose area. I'm having issues with because I like how it looks on my forehead and chin. Yeah, on my forehead and chin it looks just fine. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's up with my nose. Maybe I put too much primer on it. But again, the powder doesn't really stick. I guess it sticks a little bit more than the liquid does, but it's not a ton is lost to this. On to contour, I have cleaned the sponge. I just wiped it off with uh, tissue. I didn't feel the need to use like a liquid or anything, liquid or soap to clean it off because just simply wiping it off uh, took away both of the product. You can see a little bit of it is in, in the texture in here, but I mean, not, not anything that's going to affect any other kind of products that I blend out with it. So I just used a tissue. Uh, and then for the contour itself, I'm gonna use the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. So let's get to work. Okay, I so stand corrected on, uh, on this concealer. I think it's the right shade, who knew? Okay. Ooh, I totally forgot. It's like, it's like it's a new day every time I go in and use this. I totally forgot not to use as much. I really hope this isn't too much. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is turning into more of a bronze than a contour. Whoops. But I really like the way it's blending out, which also has to do some with the actual product. Like, you know, the fact that this is a good uh, cream contour to begin with is going to help. But, you know, also in the way that this moves product around and over top is certainly a factor too. And I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. It's a little bit harder to get here under my chin. It's kind of an awkward angle with this. Like, how do I, how, what, how do I hold this? <laughs> Alrighty, that side is done. And it seemed like the right amount of product. I really like that you can fold it, you know, like that to get in your contour. It's kind of the perfect shape for that. Yeah, this isn't disturbing product underneath at all. Oh, uh, overdid it once again. Whoopsies. Then I'm just going to stamp the leftover um, down the side of my nose to kind of fake a contour. I tend to overdo it with contour around my nose, so this kind of works perfectly. There's totally product transfer without texture transfer. What is up with my nose? There is something happening with the product on my nose. Maybe I need a different, like a separate nose primer, like multi-masking. It's like multi-priming. Hmm. Contour is done. Let's talk about blush. I'm going to go in with Benefit's Cha Cha Tint. Again, just kind of lightly wiping off one side of this thing, just so I have enough kind of blank space to blend it in. I'm gonna go in, oof, again, I just don't know how much of this to use anymore. I'm gonna do just that much. Let's just see where that gets us. Too much, oh, 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 okay. Oh, I forgot how much I love this shade. There is nothing left on this sponge too from the cha-cha tint, that's crazy. I'm seeing a little bit of product displacement here from where the liquid is. So I think that is, First of all, a result of uh, just the clash of textures, liquid over cream versus something that is now my foundation dried down to something that's closer to a powder formula. Um, so I just think the lesson there is to pat so that it's not, um, I friggin' love this blush, uh, but just to pat like this instead of smudging it around to kind of create that barrier because over here it's looking just fine. I'm not unhappy with this look. A little overdone with the blush, but that is like the story of my life. Now moving on to highlighter. This is the e.l.f. Targeted Natural Glow Stick in the shade Pink Pearl Glow. Talked about this in a recent e.l.f. haul. It is amazing. And this I expect to just blend in flawlessly because it's it's like butter. This is my, like is one of the best highlights I've ever freaking used. And I would say this is too much product, but there's no such thing as too much highlight. Yeah, I mean, get out of here. Stop, stop it. God, that's beautiful. Oh. I, 
I mean, do you ever just feel like a product is so good you don't deserve it? That's this for me. That's this for me right now. All right, now on to what I think will be the worst choice I make in this video. That will be to do my brows. Um, because everything means everything, except for mascara, realistically. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream to try and do my brows with this sponge. I don't, this is ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, but gonna try it. Gonna try it just to see. Might be, might be the next hot way to use this, who knows. So the thing is, this actually has ridges over here. It doesn't make doing something like your brows completely ridiculous because you may actually be able to pull off a hair-like kind of texture to fill, I don't know, I'm gonna stop talking. But if it works, it works. Okay, shut the front door, I don't hate this. Okay, moment of truth. Can it get a precise, precise wing? I mean, I mean, I don't hate it. I can tell a difference and I'm not mad at it. Oh, okay, might have gotten too excited with, no, oh, no, that's actually not that bad. Never mind, take it all back. So this is, it takes a little bit more time, um, but it's easier than I thought it would be and it's more effective than I thought it would be. I mean, like, is this the way I will prefer to do my brows? No, but if this is all you have, you can be done. And a filling in is all you really need to do. I mean, I, I'm, I think I'm lucky in that I don't, you know, need to like create a whole new brow every time. I already have like the structure there. I have relatively full brows. It's just kind of beefing them up with filling in. So this is good for that. Alrighty, on to the eyes. I'm a little nervous. Uh, I have cleaned my sponge once again. And for the eyes, I'm gonna use my, one of my favorites. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette. This is actually another really good reason um, and something Smashbox even says this is good for is to not get product under, you know, if you happen to have talons like me, to not get product under them because if I, I just can't even put my finger in here without you know my nail getting caught or it getting under my nails so we'll see I'm gonna take you know naturally I want a little bit more of a precise application so to get as close as possible I'm gonna take the top portion here um, I don't know how if that's gonna be enough or if that'll be too much we will have to see Ooh, I mean, I don't hate that. Okay, so if I flip it upside down, kind of squish it, can I get in my crease like that? Okay, well this, I mean, that's kind of less than stellar. You can see the edge over there. I'm not, I'm not super happy with this edge. Nothing I can't clean up. I'm impressed with how much just a little bit of manipulation with the, of this thing goes in terms of being able to apply. Okay, I don't hate that. Let's go in a little bit more. You guys, I'm into it. Okay, other eye. That was pretty fast too. I mean, certainly no slower than if I were using my finger or a brush. I will say there is a learning curve to the eyes though, right? This is not intuitive. It works, but it's not intuitive. All right, a little, little touch, a touch more on the eyes. This is sticking a little bit more to the gumdrop than most of the other products have. Just one quick side note. So I could stop here. One of the reasons why I love these eyes to mesmerize so much is they're so multifaceted. I could totally stop here as a one and done eye look, but one is never enough. Where's the fun in that? I'm actually gonna go in with a uh, cr like eye crayon. This is from By Terry. Uh, the By Terry Stilo Black Star. Stilo? Stilo? Oh, St Stilo Black Star. This is in the shade Bronze Green, so I'm just gonna apply this to my outer corner. See how this goes. I'm just gonna use the other um, non-dirty end of the sponge. Gumdrop, whatever. Oh yes. Yes, yes. And just like that, we're already onto the other side. This is insane. It also helps that these are two gorgeous colors that blend beautifully in with each other. Super easy. Check that out. Oh, I forgot how much I love these from By Terry. They're so gorgeous. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how gorgeous that is. Okay, mascara time. This I will not be using the sponge for. I'm just gonna go in with my regular old Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. All right, lashes are on, last of the lips. And this, it, this is wildly impractical, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to say that everything was done with a sponge. I'm gonna take a lipstick. This is from Becca. It is their uh, Lush Lip Color Balm in the shade Cafe Olay. So I'm gonna just take uh, the now cleaned again. I cleaned this, you know, how many times during this video. That ice to mesmer, as you can see, is still a little bit on that end. So I'm just gonna go in here on the other end, uh, the clean end, and I guess tap, just tap it lightly there. I don't even know. Yeah, so I'm just taking a little bit off and Okay, so that's definitely not the easiest way to apply the lipstick. This is probably the one thing on my face I would recommend against using uh, this thing to apply. Yeah, because it's going to take a lot of layering. It just doesn't, it doesn't pick up lipstick very well. No, let's just go ahead. And because that, through no fault of the little gumdrop, is not really doing it for me, I'm going to add a little bit more depth with this pinky shade. All right, so this is the finished look using nothing but the Smashbox gel cushion gumdrop thing. I'm pretty impressed, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This this kind of took me by surprise. Really, I mean, I already knew. If you haven't seen my review, I already knew I didn't, I, I liked this. I actually saw a purpose for it in a makeup routine, but I'm pleased to say that it did far more than I ever could have thought or wanted it to do. So there you have it. Hope this was at the very least entertaining. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.